Hey Earth Signs, welcome to my channel. It's Indigo here doing your daily love reading for Friday, August 31st. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus Earth Signs. That's Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Just tip on down here and we'll get started. Spirit and Angels, what messages do you have for our Earth Signs? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, in that order please. For Friday... August 31st. Okay. All right. Your guys' central issue is the Prince of Cups in the upright. Are you dealing with a fire sign? They had this as well. All right. Wow. Those are some amazing cards at the bottom of the deck. All right. Taurus, you guys have the Nine of Cups. Wishes being granted. Prayers being answered. Virgo, you guys have the sun. And Capricorn, hermit. Amazing reading. Wow. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and get clarifiers out right away here. All right. Taurus, you guys could be hoping for um, somebody to... Um, to make you an offer of love. Uh, all right, Taurus males. Taurus females. Okay. So, um, Taurus males, you could be in a same sex relationship, um, or there is a fire sign standing in the way of your. Um, prayers, your dreams, your wishes being granted. Um, this is somebody, though, that is very passionate about uh, the connection. This could be a father figure as well. Somebody is helping you um, move forward to um, get this Prince of Cups energy. Okay, wow, King of Pentacles. I pulled an extra clarifier. You got two kings here. So, um, Taurus, also, if you're not in a same sex relationship, this is two people waiting for the same offer of love. Being this is a general reading, it can be female energy too. This is, um, yeah. So um, you are in a situation where the person that you want or that you want to offer your love to or you're waiting for them to come towards you, they have more than you as an option. But you are the one that are getting the person. You are the one that um, is getting your wishes fulfilled and um, winning the heart, winning the love of this person. Uh, Taurus females, you guys have the wheel of fortune in reverse. So um, you're kind of on the downhill swing of things, but um, but that's okay. You uh, could be newly single or you're going to be single. For you, this is, um, you are getting your emotions back in check. You've had You've had some hard times, but uh, the Nine of Cups is being single. You are going to come out of being single very soon, Taurus. When this wheel flips in the other uh, direction, you will have somebody coming towards you and making an offer of love, but that's okay. Right now, you are happily being single. You are happily working on yourself, getting everything in check, getting your emotions back together. Somebody hurt you really bad in the past um, because you have the wheel of fortune in the reverse. But as soon as uh, this wheel uh, turns, as it's always continuously turning, it will flip up for you soon, Taurus, and you will get this offer that comes in for you, just not today. Um, Virgos, you guys are guided um, by the universe to make an offer of love to somebody. Let's see here, Virgo males. Virgo females. All right. So Friday, bottom of the deck, I was just drawn to look. Two of cups. You're dealing with a soulmate. Um, the sun card here is guiding you towards the person you are meant to be with. Um, for you Virgo males, it's guiding you to walk away from a current situation that is not fulfilling you, that is just hurting. Um, there's a lot of arguments, a lot of fights, uh, a lot of cold energy the sun is um, warming you, the, warming your situation. It's guiding you in the direction of who to offer your heart to. 
Um, you could be dealing with a Leo um, or water sign, uh, fire sign. I see the fire and the sun. Um, but you're going against what people want you to do. Um, your friends, your family, society, whatever it is. You're walking away from everyone's opinions. You're walking away from what people are telling you to do. And you're following your heart. And when you do that, you are going to make an offer of love to somebody. And it is going to be a success because it's destined to happen. Virgo females, you're refusing to move on, move forward right now. Um, even though the sun is the universe is trying to push you in that direction, you're um, kind of stuck. You're um, in a in a little bit of a depression. Yeah, you need to go within. You need to go within and um, and reflect to figure out what it is you really want because you want love. You're trying to manifest love into your life, but it's not coming for you just yet because you haven't moved on from the past. So it's time to move on to heal to retreat. And when you do, your Prince Charming is going to come to you. Um, I do see um, you, uh, Virgo females today, uh, just kind of, kind of uh, closing off to everybody, uh, going within. Just don't get stuck in your head for too long about it. Capricorns, you guys have the Hermit. You guys have retreated um, quite a while ago for a majority of you. You are seeing the light. You're following the, the light of the divine. And it is bringing you out of the mountain. You have been spiritually um, awakened. Wow, I was just going to say rebirth too and look what flipped. So yeah, you are... The Five of Pentacles to me is uh, in reverse is a spiritual rebirth. It's coming out of the cold. It's finding the warmth of the light of the church. Um and you're about to get your heart and soul warmed again. You have had a spiritual rebirth in the time of um, being a hermit. Uh, in the time of Virgo, which is we're here, you're coming out of the cold. And you're going to offer your love to somebody. And it's going to be a success because you took your time to heal, to to get to this point. And it's, it's only going to find you happiness and joy. Capricorn females, you guys are breaking free of a toxic relationship. Um, some of you have addictions. Um, you have broken free and and um, took a step back from the world and was asking yourself a lot, what do I do? Where do I go from here? How do I get this um, from where I'm at? And you are um, also coming out of this time of hermit. You do have somebody that in the next four days is going to um, ask you out, ask you on a date, ask you to hang out, um, whatever it is. Because you have um, you have taken the time to to uh, purge all the negative energy out of your life, and you will have positivity coming towards you today. What can our ver or what can our earth signs? Ooh. Hold on, I have some flippers in here before we even started. Okay, what can our earth signs expect for Friday, August thirty first? There we go. Honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of the holiday together. Okay. Um, in the United States, we are, are having a holiday weekend starting today through Monday. It's Labor Day. Um, so a lot of you could be taking trips with people you love. Um, a lot of you could not even be taking trips. You could just be spending the day with these people. Um, enjoy the holiday. Enjoy the weekend. Enjoy um, the relationships that are coming to fruition um, today and throughout the weekend with this um, Prince of Cups, you guys deserve this. And um, with on that note, I'm going to end it here. Have a beautiful, blissful holiday weekend, um, Earth Science. I want to thank you guys uh, for coming to my channel, for watching. If you like this video, please um, make sure you hit the like button. Uh, leave your comments. I love to hear if it resonated or not. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. Um, that way you don't miss any future videos. I appreciate each and every one of you, um, for continuously supporting me through my spiritual journey, my spiritual path. It wouldn't be what it is without you. So once again, thank you for joining me here on Indigo Goddess 1111. God bless.